lesson, we're going to look at resqueado, uh, which is probably the most distinctive technique in flamenco, and it's this. Right now, there's a lot of different resqueados that we can use uh, depending on how many fingers we're using and really what rhythm we want to be playing. Uh, the one we're going to look at today is probably the most universal, the most common, and the most useful, which is a 16th note resqueado uh, using three fingers, right? So the way we get four notes out of, or four strokes out of three fingers is by going down, 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 up, right? And that's also what makes the resqueado is continuous. The fact that we're doing down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 down up is what lets us get a sound like without any pause between, you know, if we did four down, it'd be harder to get that continuous sound. So we're using three fingers, A, M, I, and the order is a down, M down, I down, and then I up. And when we come up with the I, the whole hand comes in. Now, there's two really important things, both of which are a little awkward at first for almost everyone. So I'm constantly telling my students, this isn't hard, but you're not used to doing this yet. So it will be awkward for a moment, and until it stops being awkward, it's going to feel a little weird. But both of the things we're about to look at are really important for a good resqueado. So please take the time to get both of these things happening. So thing one is that the thumb, which rests on the sixth string, not as if you're about to play a note, but really as an anchor, needs to be bent at this joint. And there's a couple reasons for that. Uh, one is that it's almost impossible to hit the fifth string with a straight thumb because of where your fingers end up being. Right, so it really brings the hand closer in and it gives you a better angle of attack. And it also, so the sound is better, right? That's one of the second things because of the angle. You can hit the fifth string. And the third thing is that it allows you to do the other really important, slightly awkward thing, which is to make the world's loosest fist every time you're about to start a rasqueado. So if you try to do your rasqueados like this from thin air, in theory, it can work. I've met a couple of players who can make it work this way. For most people, it's basically impossible to get a good resqueado unless you're cocking each finger and shooting it out. That's what gives it that percussive strength, right? The That's what gives it its power, basically, right? This. If I try to do it from thin air, it sounds like that. If I flick them out, I get that taka taka taka. I get that the power that I want in a rasqueado. So, really, really important. The first thing is to just get used to setting up your thumb, bending your thumb. Make what I call the world's loosest fist, the kind of fist where if you punch someone, you would break your hand and you wouldn't even hurt them. Really loose, but the fingers are cocked. Now, everyone's hand is a little different. So for some people, it's gonna be in the palm. For some people, it's all in the thumb. Mine is sort of a combination, right? I have the index on the thumb, but these guys are more in the palm, but really on this part of my thumb. That's just my hand. Whatever your hand does when you close and make a really, really, really loose fist, that's where you're shooting from. And then you flick out A, M, I, and then you bring back I. For most people, that first flick of the A finger is the most awkward because when you flick the A finger, the middle finger wants to go with it. So one of the first things you want to get used to is just doing this. Cock all three fingers, right? Get them set, and then flick out the A finger and relax. Bring it back, flick, relax. Until you can do this really comfortably without the M finger going with it, right? At first, they might go together, and then after a while, you're gonna get a little bit of control. So once this feels pretty good, then A, M, I, flick, 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 and as you come back with the I finger, the hand comes back into a fist, a really loose fist. Now, I can't emphasize enough, you need to be relaxed throughout this. If you feel tension, which you probably will because you're doing something that's awkward and new, if you feel tension, just stop, get rid of the tension, or just shake it out, flop it out, whatever it takes, and then come back and really loosely relax 
more important to be loose and relaxed at first than it is to be accurate. And then once it starts to feel normal, you start to think of, okay, what does it sound like when I subdivide 16th notes? One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. Right, that A finger is the downbeat. One, two, three. So just get used to this. One, two, three. And once this starts to feel like something that you can control, then we're ready to apply it to Solea. So in this lesson, we're going to apply the technique of rasqueada that we learned in the previous lesson to Solea. And the chords we're going to use are F major 7, we've already run into this, C major,